Lesson 1 Introduction to CTD In this lesson we will be learning regarding common technical document which is commonly called a CTD format. We will learn on CTD purpose, organization of the CTD, overviews and summaries, specific modules. However, in the first lesson 1 we will only cover up to non-clinical overview summaries. Remaining topics will be covered in the lesson 1, part 2, module 3 format. In this lesson we will cover Common technical document purpose Organization of the CTD Overviews and summaries Technical document CTD grew out of International Council for Harmonization Started looking at OCA Harmonization 1997 Final step for text issue 2000 applies to new chemical entities and generics. The CTD is organized into five modules. Module 1 is region specific and modules 2, 3, 4 and 5 are intended to be common for all regions. In July 2003, the CTD became the mandatory format for new drug applications in the EU and Japan, and the strongly recommended format of choice for NDAs, submitted to FDA, United States. Common Technical Document Purpose Defines common format for the dossiers that will be submitted to regulatory authorities. A common format reduces the time and resources needed to compile applications for registration of human pharmaceuticals. It will be easier to prepare electronic submissions, ECTD. Regulatory reviews and communication with the applicant will be facilitated. Easier exchange of regulatory information between regulatory authorities. Common technical document purpose. The guideline is not intended to indicate which studies are required. Other guidelines address this, but it only defines an appropriate format. Content can differ. ICH guidelines have not yet harmonized all requirements. Pharmacopoeias are not harmonized. Applicants should not modify the overall organization of the CTD. However, in the non-clinical and clinical summaries, applicants can modify individual formats. In this slide you will find a pictorial representation of CTD structure. The CTD structure is presented in a pyramid form where you will find different modules which are part of a complete dossier. Namely these are Module 1 Regional Information Module 2 CTD Table of Contents and CTD Introduction Module 3 Quality Module 4 Non-Clinical Study Reports Module 5 Clinical Study Reports Organization of the CTD 1. The CTD contains 5 modules. Module 1. Administrative Information and Prescribing Information This module should contain documents specific to each region, for example application forms or the proposed label for use in the region. The content and format of this module can be specified by the relevant regulatory authorities. In the EU this includes SMPC, package leaflet, expert signature and CV, and the environmental risk assessment organization of the CTD. 2. Module 2. Common technical document summaries. Module 2 should begin with a general introduction to the pharmaceutical, including its pharmacologic class mode of action and proposed clinical use. Module 2 should contain 7 sections in the following order. CTD Table of Contents CTD Introduction Quality Overall Summary Non-Clinical Overview Clinical Overview Non-Clinical Written and Tabulated Summaries Clinical Summary The Organization of the SUMA RISE is described in Guidelines M4Q, M4S and M4E. Quality Overall Summary 1. The Quality Overall Summary QOS, is a summary that follows the scope and the outline of the body of data in Module 3. The QOS should not include information or data that was not already included in Module 3 or in other parts of the CTD. The QOS should include sufficient information from each section to provide a quality reviewer with an overview of Module 3. The QOS should also emphasize critical key parameters of the product and provide a justification in cases where guidelines were not followed. Quality Overall Summary 2. 
the QoS should include a discussion of key issues that integrates information from sections in the quality module and supporting information from other modules including cross-referencing to volume and page number in other modules. For example qualification of impurities via toxicological studies discussed under the CTDS module. It should not exceed 40 pages of text, excluding tables and figures. For biotech products and products manufactured using more complex PR assesses, the document should normally not exceed 80 pages of text, excluding tables and figures. Clinical Overview 1. The non-clinical overview should provide an integrated and critical assessment of the pharmacologic, pharmacokinetic and toxicological information in the common technical document. Where relevant guidelines on the conduct of studies exist, these should be taken into consideration, and any deviation from these guidelines should be discussed and justified. In general, the non-clinical overview should not exceed about 30 pages, much less for generic, approximate 10 p. Ages. Non-clinical overview. 2. Any association between non-clinical findings and the quality characteristics of the human pharmaceutical or the results of clinical trials should be addressed. Except for biotechnology-derived products, an assessment of the impurities and degradants and their potential pharmacologic and toxicologic effect should be included. The proposed impurity limits in the drug substance and product should be justified. The implications of any differences in the chirality, CH, chemical form, and impurity profile between the compound used in the non-clinical studies and the product to be marketed should be discussed. Non-clinical overview, 3. If a drug product includes a novel excipient, an assessment of the information regarding its safety should be provided. The overview should also address the broader context. The non-clinical testing strategy, justification if necessary, GLP status of the studies, relevant literature, effects seen with related products, the clinical relevance of the findings, the implications of the non-clinical findings for the product information. Clinical summaries. The primary purpose of the non-clinical written and tabulated summaries should be to provide a comprehensive factual synopsis of the non-clinical data. In the discussion and conclusion sections, information should be integrated across studies and across species, and exposure in the test animals should be related to exposure in humans given the maximum intended doses. Not required for generic applications. Some useful references. These may help to find out more detailed information regarding CTD format. We are stopping here for this lesson. Remaining lesson part regarding the introduction of CTD will be uploaded soon. Thanks for your time.